Good afternoon, friends. Stephen Benoon here with Israeli News Live. And listen, we've been putting together some things. A uh, good friend of ours has sent us actually two different friends of ours. Uh, one, of course, very serious subject on uh, some things going on. Uh, one of our FEMA friends that have shared with us also, uh, Elizabeth, who works with us there, uh, sharing tremendous amount of information on 5G. And we're taking that information, putting all that together for you so we can share that with you. Uh, just troubling uh, some of these things that we're hearing about. But because I'm not quite ready to bring that out tonight, and maybe I might be able to get my wife to join me tomorrow uh, as well. We'll have to wait and see. I don't know how, how that will work out, but I know that these are some things that she's very knowledgeable on as well. Uh, but I took late this evening, a little after about 11 p.m. Uh, local time here, and I went out and decided to look up in the night sky with night vision just to see if I saw things similar to that in New Mexico, where I told you I saw quite a few UFOs up in the sky there. Of course, and I actually had folks there that knew what the UFOs were, so I had all the confirmation on that. Uh, but I did record two different things, and I kind of pieced the two of these together. One, of course, is going to be, obviously, it's a plane way out in the distance. You'll see the light blinking on that. That's the first part of this video here. So as you're looking there, see the blinking in the screen there? There's actually two different planes on there that are blinking. Uh, and you know that you're dealing with a plane. Then it switches to this other video. And you're getting ready to, I just paused it right there. Let me back up just a little bit for you, though, so you can see this plane blinking there using the night vision. You can see it moving across your screen there. But now comes this other one. Look at that. That right there, round circle looking object there, moving across, no blinking. That was a bird, of course, actually bats that are flying around at night out here. Uh, but just tracking on down, tracking on down, but moving rather slowly. Now I thought that was pretty wild, right? Um, let me back it up. I don't know if we can blow any of this up for you there, but let me bow, gosh, back up a little bit more. One thing I noticed too, let's see, we'll go kind of slowly here, and I'll just get your thoughts on it there. Let's see here. Like I said, there's no blinking lights or nothing, but I'm watching the other object back and behind. That may just be a star. Let me just watch that other object back there in the back because it almost seems like the thing moved at first, but I guess not. I guess it's there goes your bat going across there. But you see it right there? See that thing moving on down? And I've zoomed in on this thing and everything else, and it's as round as you can get, even when you zoom in on it. I don't know what to make of it. Uh, now, the UFOs that we were able to get a confirmation on from... Uh, friend of mine there that's in the secret space force there was able to confirm up there in New Mexico, but they move much, much faster. But then again, we don't know what the altitude of this object is. If you go back to the planes here, um, let me let's see those there. Let's see. The plane is moving there, but again, it's also going, it's going pretty rapid for a plane. Um, let me back up here on that just a second there. I didn't get it, wasn't able to catch that in there quite long enough on the plane there. But uh, but it's moving along there, and you can see it there in the distance. But then this one here, again, just real, real strange, right? Just like a circle type of object. And you never see any blinking lights on it whatsoever. I mean... I mean, granted, could it be a military aircraft or something like that without the lights on and stuff? You know, possibly. But when I zoomed in on the object, it's not a luminous. If you were to take the camera or, or the night vision off, you wouldn't see the object at all. It's only visible when the night vision is on. And I actually seen several of these uh, flying overhead. And, uh, but it's very difficult to capture this using my uh, phone, uh, looking through the camera lens, so it's kind of hard to capture that. But I wanted to throw that at you guys, see what you thought about it. Um, now, if you're catching really, the real, some of the ones like I seen in New Mexico, boy, when they go across the screen, they're like 
10 times faster. See, again, it looks like that one object, though, does move. Watch, watch this right there. Watch that. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe it's just my imagination as I keep watching this thing. So, but it's just fascinating. And I wanted to share that with you because um, I've, been, I've been wanting you to see some of the things that we see like this. Night vision, though. Night vision is amazing what it can do. I'm Steve Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Thank you for joining us. Y'all have a great evening.